My name is Sid Sheikh. I am the Engineering Product Development Manager. Um, I look after and I'm responsible for growing a team of specialised um, engineers and project managers, predominantly focused around product development. A very interesting question for Ocado and for the logistics industry itself. Um, most people see products as um, washing machines or phones or laptops. In Ocado, um, our products are the size of four football pitches or five football pitches. So um, we, we bridge the gap between product and um, automation and I, I, I think we, we could call it large scale automation. So um, Ocado's the, the world's largest online retailer um, and our model is to move away from um, the standard bricks and mortar um, buying grocery from a, from a store to large customer fulfillment centres. Um, and within these large customer fulfillment centres, uh, if you take our Hatfield and Dorden facilities, for instance, they deliver close to 14 million products a week. Um, and they're the equivalent of um, our Hatfield store is the equivalent of 30 um, medium Sainsbury stores and, and we generate that volume and in order to, to meet the throughput and the quality requirements of such a large facility handling millions and millions of different products we have a lot and a lot of automation within that facility and that automation has to run at very high reliabilities, very high rates. Um, and that's the big surprise for a lot of people that are not aware of the logistics industry is the, the level, the scale and the complexity of, of automation within one of our facilities. I joined in 2011. Um, I worked in the R&D industry and um, I got um, disillusioned with working on a lot of blue sky projects that never went into production or never went to market. So I came to Ocado as a project manager really to, to work, at, uh, work in a 24-7 environment where I, I felt confident that all the work that I would do would go into production and I'd, I'd see the, the fruits of my efforts. Um, so when I joined Ocado I started as a project manager um, and I worked on lots of improvement and um, throughput and capacity improvement projects. Um, and um, three years in, I got asked to um, head up the product development team. So when I joined, um, Ocado predominantly bought off-the-shelf equipment, um, improved it, optimized it, um, used it in a way that no one else in the industry uses it. Um, we, we, we like to use the term, we sweat our assets, so we get everything out of our, our, our systems. And then that's all controlled by very clever, complex software, which is developed, it's all bespoke, and it's developed by our Ocado technology team. So um, we, we developed the Hatfield facility, and it was, it was kind of our sandpit for learning about technology and process and um, that, that, that's our, our 10 or 12 years of learning and um, that culminated in our Dorden facility which is, um, which is considered the state of the art in the logistics industry um, but now we're working on the next, the next generation of technology which we would consider the future of logistics and it's not equipment that you can buy off the shelf it's all been developed in-house so um, my journey is to t try and take um, Ocado from a company that buys off-the-shelf equipment to a company with the right skills and capabilities to develop its own in-house technology. It's interesting that um, for when we talk about product, um, what's different at Ocado is the scale of our product. And you can, you can um, put that word product in, in inverted quotes if you like. Um, we're, we're talking about um, systems that are the size of four football pitches, 100 metres by 100 metres by 8 metre systems. Um, but they're volume, volume systems, they're so large. So we're combining um, the, the, the challenges and the constraints of products, product development with repeatability, with um, reliability, with 
um, achieving a cost target, but we're also combining that with automation, but at a scale of four football pitches, which is quite rare in any industry. I believe that I've got a great team. Um, I'm, I'm biased because I recruited most of them, <laughs> but um, the business has, has set us some big challenges and the team always rise to those challenges. There's a great atmosphere, there's a great team atmosphere within the product development team. And um, as, as, we, as we grow um, and, the, and we share our capabilities, there's a, a great learning um, culture within the team. So the opportunity for you to sit next to a safety expert or a liability expert and widen your scope of knowledge is great. And that, that builds quite a strong, close-knit team. Um, and I'm, I'm very proud of what, what they've delivered um, in, in the time that we've delivered it. And um, I think that that is a, a great draw to this business.